PD5 Pilot with you on a Saturday morning and uh, be part three of getting those uh, side sills and the uh, Hartwell canopy latch system that uh, Fred Wilcoxon designed installed onto the aircraft. Today I hope to get that done. So I've removed the forward canopy and the uh, glare shield so I can get uh, access into the uh, this uh, forward area. And uh, and the reason I had uh, part of the reason I had done that uh, just to make it easier to install, but also I was looking over this cable assembly. I wanted to uh, do like Peter Rennie did and run that cable actually forward and not aft. And what I'm discovering is I have to run it to the aft. The cable's not long enough. When I try to run it forward, I end up with the cable showing up, making its radius right about in this uh, this region, and I don't have enough cable to. Uh, route it forward so looks like it's going to be aft but uh, i'm not going to make any uh drill any holes right now i've made the mark in the uh, canopy itself eight and a half inches uh back from the forward edge per instructions and then i uh, made the mark into those sills where that's uh where that's going to align and uh, so the next step since i've got everything clecoed in i've uh, scribed the edges so i've got i've got a smooth edge out here to the outside edge and uh, I'm going to take the latch itself, and we'll drill that first first hole to hold that into place, and then uh, do that on both sides, and then uh, make sure that everything else that I'm uh, uh, installing is going to be fitting correctly. That way, uh, we'll make sure we've got a, a doubler to put in for uh, mounting the. Uh, latch assembly itself up here forward the handle part of it and uh, some doublers also for when I put these uh, clamps that hold that cable push-pull cable into place so uh, I'll be getting to work on that take some more pictures uh, soon but uh, try to time everything so I only have to mix up pro seal one time so now you'll see I fitted the uh, left hand side latch I've got the pin in for the uh, push-pull cable and then the uh, rod attached for the handle itself. I've used that handle, I've taken it over center and then pulled it all the way to where I've got it at the latched position and then marked where my forward doubler needs to go for mounting the uh, handle itself. That's pre-drilled, so uh, I've got two holes so far to pilot it and hold it in place. And now I'm in to uh, mark out the rest of those and, uh, and then drill them out make sure it's going to fit, and then uh, drill them out to the larger size. So uh, the process continues. And there we've got the doubler and the uh, parts for the handle. Clee code ready to up drill, but I'm going to uh, first work on the uh, these rear mounts and make sure I get those in the correct position as well. And so now I have the uh, right side drilled for the Hartwell latch and the little plastic uh, bushing that holds it out so I get the proper alignment trimmed to size and we're ready to install the uh, right side uh, heart well. So the right side heart well is now installed and what I'm taking a look at is this alignment how this uh, cable arrangement is going to fit in. And I'm not sure it's looking like I might have a little trouble getting this uh, fit where the uh, instructions said they were supposed to go so either I did something wrong with the measurement those are eight and a half inches back like I was told to do but I'm not seeing this rear um, carrier install uh, per instruction so I'm gonna mess with that a little bit and see uh, see what I find and there we'll uh, we'll verify there's the uh, there's the mark I made and it's lining up correctly with where that latch was supposed to go. And there's the other mark lining up exactly. So I've got everything centered there. I'll open this back up again. I've decided against running that cable around the behind the seat. Uh, I don't like the way it uh, interferes with the uh, gear spring mechanism. So I am gonna run it forward, which means I'm just gonna have to order a large, longer uh, cable a similar push-pull cable it be, be probably a foot and a half will do the trick I have, might have to buy it in uh, in uh, increments that uh, make me buy two feet and I can I have room up here I can accommodate that if that's the if that's the case but I'll find out I think actually 16 inches I could uh, I could get away with but 
with this uh, functional. No, the cable, this is, this is not hooked up yet because I still need to uh, countersink and, uh, and drill those out. Uh, or they, they're drilled, but I need to countersink them so that they'll work. But you can see how the assembly clamps down. And then when we push it all the way in, which I have trouble getting enough pressure on this one, but you can see that they both will unlatch correctly. So when I have the correct leverage up here at the handle, that, uh, that system is going to work just fine. And so now it's a matter of getting everything measured for the canopy and putting those pieces onto those canopy aluminum tubes. You can see I cut out the little relief forward bolt so that this all fits nice and flush. And so I'll get some weather stripping to hold that down. I need to work out a pin for the rear alignment so that uh, I uh, can maintain my uniform fit around that uh, rear part of the canopy. But uh, we're going to go to work on those uh, uh, mounts that uh, I still need to uh, drill and attach to uh, hold the canopy rails down. Okay, now that I've got all the other structures ready, I've taken and put the uh, cremale pieces in. They're drilled, and uh, we're going to drill those out to the uh, size that uh, lets us set the initial clecos in, make sure everything aligns correctly, and then I'll drill them up to the eighth inch size, and they'll be ready for rivets. And now I've got the uh, left side up drilled to eighth inch in the process of getting the uh, other side drilled out. So uh, we're oh, up there. <laughs> Hard to see when you're looking at it backwards. But uh, as soon as I get that done, we'll take these uh, rivets out, do the countersinking there. And there's a couple countersink jobs in here as well. And we'll be ready to uh, get this all finished. So I will get it done today. Well, I've got all the pro seal done, so I'm going to call this a good day's uh, good day's work. Those sills came out really nice. I like the latch assemblies and handles. Pretty sharp how it all worked out. Got to trim the tops of those bolts and put some uh, Loctite in there so it seals them seals them in. But uh, these work. Exactly as designed. And uh, I'll set up a uh, set up a tripod so you can watch the whole thing work. So I can watch from there. Hopefully, you'll see how the handle even works. But <clears throat> I'm still going to make the pins for the back so that I line everything up correctly. But as soon as this drops into the right spot, you just bring this back. That opens up the clamps, and then you bring it forward over center. That locks the canopy down very securely. And then to get it out, still a little tight, so it takes a little jiggling. And it comes up, so success story. Now I'll tell you one of the reasons I wanted to run the cable forward, that push-pull cable, is because right there at the back, I would actually like to design a uh, external way of uh, operating this latch so that because the danger of this is if you accidentally close that door quick and it, and it happened to uh, push through and snap itself on, you have to remove the forward canopy so you can get to this handle and operate the, uh, operate the latch system. So if I can design a means of some kind of a, a lever it's operating from the outside or even a cam, something that I can just put a wrench onto and turn. Um, I can create a way to uh, open this in case it accidentally gets closed. I have to say I also really like having these wide sills now so that when I go to get in and out, I can rest my hand against a large enough surface that it uh, isn't really uncomfortable. And, and I think they look, I think it has a better finished appearance. So uh, all in all, a good day. So I'm going to call it quits for this Saturday. Uh, 
see if I get a chance to come down here tomorrow. I've got some other family activities, so I might not get a chance to work on the plane tomorrow. But if I do, I'll post another video. BD5 Pilots out for now.